Alright guys, A Production Guns, we're going to go over how to put your side saddle by Tax Star, by tax star onto your Mossberg 500 pump. Um, we understand that a lot of people know how to do these things, but this is for the person who just got their shotgun, doesn't know what to do with it, and maybe there's a better visual learner than reading it off the instructions. So I'm going to hand it over to Garrett here to start us off. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your firearm, check the breech, make sure you're clear about two or three times just to make sure your magazine's empty. You're going to go ahead and leave your gun charged. You're going to lay it down with the ejection cord up. You're going to take your flathead screwdriver, remove the screw right there. Make sure not to lose these parts because if you do decide to take it off in the future, they're hard to get and they're expensive. And what you're going to do is you are going to take your it's the same exact screw, it's just got a longer thread on it. You're going to replace the screw you just took out with this one. Make sure not to over tighten it so the gun cycles right. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the Allen key that they give you and you're just going to go ahead and punch out your body pin. Take that, set that off to the side with your other fa factory parts. What you're going to do is you're going to take the long hex head bolt and just slide it through. Until it's flush where your body pin was at. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and roll your shotgun over. You're going to take the, uh, the body mount plate and these two holes will line up. This one's threaded so you have to tighten it. You're going to take the other hex key that was provided with the kit, the larger one. You're just going to tighten this. Make sure not to over tighten it. Make sure that's nice and snug. Then you go ahead and you take your washer and your nut, and you put it over onto the elongated screw. Also, do not over tighten this, just make sure it's on there so it doesn't come off. Then you're going to take your uh, plastic shell holster and your six. Six little screws that attach the plastic shell holster to the body plate. Just gonna go ahead and tighten those on. Put that on upside down. Once those are tight, you're all set. You've got your six round shell holster. Put any shells you want in there, fit any 12 gauge shells. There you go. <laughs> Minus one. So there you go, guys. Um, hope you enjoy this uh, how to. Remember, this isn't, this isn't for everyone, but for the people who don't know, uh, stay tuned because we're going to do a complete dismantle of it. Oh, yeah, it's for the uh, Tax our uh, side saddler. So, uh, enjoy okay, guys. now we're taking off our Tax Star side saddle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start off with the six screws that hold on the uh, plastic part to the mounting plate. You're gonna use the provided hex key. Take these off. 
place those off to the side so you don't lose them. Then after all those are out, you're going to remove your little plastic shell holder, set that off to the side. What you're going to do is you're going to take off your nut right here. Assuming these damn pliers work. Okay, after all those screws are out, you're going to take off your plastic shell holster. You're going to take your wrench and remove the nut right here. Should just twist right off. Set that to the side. Make sure not to lose that washer right there. What you're going to do is you're going to flip your gun over, take the other hex key provided. You're going to remove the bolt that replaced your body pin. Go ahead and pull that out. Then the uh, metal plate that mounts to the body should just come right off. And what you're going to do is so you're going to charge your gun. You're going to lay it down with the ejection port face up. Take your flathead screwdriver, remove your screw right here. Set that off to the side. And you're going to take your factory screw that you have. These are both flathead screwdrivers, by the way. Yes. You're going to go ahead and screw that back in. Do not over tighten it because it can mess with the functionality of the firearm. And you're going to take your body pin, just push that guy right through, make sure it's flush.